did you go about deciding on to, on to adapt, how to adapt the, uh, the novel? What was your guideline to bring the novel to me? Um, uh, I think it was the story, it was her story, was the, from the book, um, which I was very touched with. And this idea of looking at the world through an alien mind, that became a kind of uh, spark. Uh, but by stripping down a lot of the plot uh, twists and, and the uh, uh, political, you know, social political thing, you seem to want to make this film almost like a sensorial experience, an experience of the senses. Am I, am I correct? Yeah, I thought my, the feeling really was that if we could um, make a film about how uh, the character felt, uh, uh, then, uh, then we would understand where we were in the story through our Mr. Scarlett, is that the way you, you also approached it? Is that the way she felt? Hello. <laughs> oh, right, yes, Jonathan's helping me answer that question, as always. Uh, <laughs> I. I don't know. It's, it's, it's such a different, um, it's such a different perspective than Jonathan in that sense because um, you know he, we were working and it was all, all the pieces were coming together day by day, moment by moment in his mind. And for me, I mean, his his vision of the story as a whole was was taking shape, and mine was a much more isolated experience. You know, I was experiencing. My, I was discovering my own identity as a, as a character, so I, it's, I think it's hard to relate in the same way. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I mean, I, I, for me, it's a uh, film. It's um, you know, certainly the filmmakers you you uh, you, you uh, use these examples or you mentioned there. You know, they like, they like both of those filmmakers immensely. I mean, I, I, I enjoy. I always enjoyed filmmakers and filmmaking as a. Uh, as a more uh, yeah, personal pursuit, and the more challenged. I, I love to be challenged by the by the um, by the material. I like to push as the form as much as I can. Um, you know, and this this story felt to me like it was a perfect uh, um, uh, fertile idea for finding a language, uh, very uh, visual vocabulary to tell a story um, in a very um, un hopefully in a very un un unexpected way. Um, but, but we're paying as much attention as possible to the to the trajectory of the character, to the kind of the emotional journey, of the, kind of the discovery, um, and acquire an unusual language. So I suppose it's experimental uh, for for that reason, not not for its not experimental for its own sake. Um, I. I don't think I had any kind of preconceived idea of how to play the role or prepare for it, and certainly there weren't any. I, I it became very clear early on. I think after about take three or four on the first day that um, any ideas that I had, um, you know, of how to go about playing this character were completely irrelevant. Um, and it, it took us, it took us, I would say, a couple of weeks to kind of fall into the, you know, find the foot, our footing a little bit because um, it, it, it was the idea of playing a character who has, or in the beginning, certainly no preconceived idea of humanity in any way, and just abandoning any judgment or notion. It's such a you know, she has no, there's no evil intention, or actually no real intention at all. That's even, you know, something that I, you could have any, it's, you know, it's different than kind of imagining how, a, you know, putting a, putting a, taking a dog and sort of, you know, putting their own kind of human traits or characteristics to it and, you know, oh, it's guilty here and it's feeling, you know, I don't know, ashamed this way. It wasn't like that. It was just, you know, about a kind of abandoning, I don't know, sort of a starting out with this very blank um, kind of sort of, I don't know, so somebody that's not really, you have to, you know, you're kind of finding these little cracks, but um, in general it's something, it's a person that's not a person, it's a, it's a something, it's a, it's a being that's part of an entity, yeah, that's what we're saying, and it's, uh, 
you know, as you can, as I'm having a hard time answering that question, um, it, was, it was that hard to kind of find um, find the performance in the beginning, I guess. Uh, not that I know of and felt of her, but um, but it, it was you know impossible to find reference in that way. I think. I think can I can I just uh, jump to that, that, that um, I think that uh, Scarlett's uh, I think it was it was a discovery for sure it was a very um, uh, precedented role it was very how do you there was no character it was really a uh, hit this how do you how do you play it and and uh, I think um, I think it was something that we felt as we journeyed on it we there were takes that were felt truthful to the moment they were supposed to describe and others that didn't. And, um, yeah, it was uh, it was found. Uh, the, the, oh, let me ask the answer. I'll oh, answer uh, the uh, question uh, about uh, under the skin. The under the skin was the title of the book that this film was based on, and um, I, uh, you know, was very keen to um, uh, change the title of the film. Um, Partly because of another film that was called the same name. There's a lot of films by the same name. Uh, the one you're talking about, the uh, other film, is, is excellent, and um, uh, it's uh, it's um, it shares the same title, but it's not uh, anything like that. I think they're vast, completely different films. Um, um, and the first, your first question. I'm sorry, what was the first question? Sorry. Yeah. The Scottish yeah, accent. Yeah, yeah, so it's I mean, a problem with it. Exactly. Oh, I mean, you thought of it because it, it, it's conceptually worse it, with, the, it, with her not understanding yeah, what's going on. It, 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 felt, it felt like that, yeah, yeah that it, was, um, uh, it was set in Scotland uh, and the, the, uh, the alienation of the character, I think, the idea that we're trying to the, the film is to. We're seeing the film through Scarlett's character's eyes, and uh, the planet, the alien planet, is is our planet in the, in the film. And it, it didn't bother me that the uh, that the dialogue was um, uh, indecipherable at times. I think I thought it was. I think as long as the intent in the, in the scenes are is clear, um, the behaviour is clear. And um, to me, uh, I, I felt that was. Uh,